Amazon's Robotic Fulfillment Center is about to put hundreds of people to work in Leon County. Now businesses already here are getting ready for the more potential customers of their own. Hopefully that will just gear us right back up so we can uh, provide a little more uh, economic opportunities for our staff. I'm Gabriela Mercurio in the Northeast Tallahassee neighborhood where the Amazon Fulfillment Center behind me is set to open in mid-September. I'm taking a closer look at the impact it's having on the capital city. We were a little um, nervous at first because we weren't sure what that was going to mean for us. That's Alex Harris, a manager at Backwoods Crossing. It's a local family owned business run by two brothers. They serve farm to table meals. They're located just down the street from the newly built Amazon Fulfillment Center. With the center opening in just a few weeks, Harris tells me we weren't sure if we were going to be overwhelmed with all of the business. But Amazon reports that they will probably be at full employment, which um, equates to more than 1300 jobs. Um, by the holiday season. Keith Bowers directs the Office of Economic Vitality. Tuesday morning, he told me more than 700 people in our area have already applied for open positions at the massive facility. Believe it or not, Amazon is still looking for more workers. Bowers and Amazon have enlisted the help of Career Source Capital Region to help fill those positions. They pretty much have worked with us. We've been able to funnel folks their way, and that's what we're here to do. With an average unemployment rate of 3.4% in the capital region, CEO James McShane says people in Gaza and Wakulla County will benefit from the new opportunities here. Most people will travel 50 miles for a good job. So if you take that and go around, it's it's a big area. So, uh, so it's going to affect a lot of folks in a positive way. With a starting minimum hourly wage of $16 and benefits, Bowers says it'll have a bigger impact on our area. More than $33 million in annual um, salaries and wages that are being paid and that money stays right here in, in our community. Money in the community that will benefit local businesses like Backwoods Crossing. We have had to cut our labor hours over the summer, so hopefully that'll be just gear us right back up so we can uh, provide a little more uh, economic opportunities for our staff. So we're grateful for the new business. Bowers tells me that Amazon is just the beginning. OEV currently has 14 other projects in their pipeline that could soon be here in the capital city. For ABC 27, I'm Gabriella Mercurio.